it's Erica. Welcome to my channel or welcome back. Today I have got a pattern review for you guys of the Charlotte dress from 5 out of 4 patterns. I want to start out by saying I'm really sorry I have not been recording anything for the channel or doing anything with that. Um, we lost one of our cats on January 3rd after a battle with cancer and we spent a couple months just trying to figure out what was wrong with him, trying to help him in any way we could. He needed a lot of special care, and I would not trade a minute of that, but it means I didn't have any time to do anything. And then when we lost him, it was just so devastating. Um, he was just such a part of our life. He was that cat that's like always in your lap, always in your face, always with you. And so we just didn't know what to do. Um, but it's been, you know, over two weeks now, and we're feeling a little bit more normal. <laughs> and I was finally able to sew a little bit. So I wanted to review this pattern. So the Charlotte dress from Five Out of Four Patterns is a wrap dress. I'm wearing it right now. And I also have on Missy the Mannequin. Let me scoot back. A second version, which was my test fit version. So. I'm gonna stand up and show you the dress and then I'll talk about all of the particulars of the dress. Let me take my sweater off. It's cold today, guys. So this is my my second version I made, which is the, the real one, I guess. Um, it's got this cute pup sleeve. It's got this beautiful facing for the neckline, neckband, which I will talk about in more detail. It is a faux wrap front with a half circle skirt. Let me show you. I made mine to slightly below the knee. I am 5'3", and the knee length cut line took me to this location. So what I'll do right now is I'll run through, sorry my lighting is weird. I've got a ring light on and everything and it's still weird. Um, I will run through all the different options this pattern has because there are a lot of them. And that's one of the things I really like about these indie patterns is they give you a lot of options. So you get really good value for money. I think that I paid, I'm gonna look it up because I don't wanna say it wrong. And the Charlotte dress is around $12. So it's $12 for the dress patterns. So let me show you all, what all you're getting for $12 because I thought that was really impressive. So, the pattern is the Charlotte Peplum and Dress. And you are getting two bodice options. So they have the regular bodice and they have one with a full bust adjustment built in already to the pattern, which is really nice. Four skirt lengths, peplum, knee length dress, T length dress, and a maxi dress. Three sleeve options, sleeveless, the regular sleeve, which I made on this version, and I'll show you in a second, and then the puff, which comes in a short or elbow length sleeve. The regular sleeve comes in short, elbow, three quarter, and long sleeve cut lines. Um, and then you get pockets, and there's also an option to do a ruched waistband, and I'll try to show you the line drawings for the ones with the, yeah, see? So you can actually put a waistband on it, um, which I think is really cute. But I personally wouldn't do that because while I need waist definition, I don't necessarily want it to be that much waist definition. My waist is short and it's like high up on my body. So if I put like a big noticeable waistband cummerbund style belt, it makes that half of my body look even shorter. So I like a more long line, but still fitted and defined at the waist. Um, so you can use two-way or four-way light to medium weight knit fabrics with 50% horizontal stretch and good recovery. Okay, so that's the breakdown of that. I'm going to go ahead and show you the, I think I'll show you the test fit on, and then I will talk about what I did. No version. This is the regular sleeve. And what was exciting for me is that typically I have to make a full bicep adjustment. I did not have to with this pattern. 
So just compare your bicep measurements to the patterns, obviously, but it's just a nice bonus for me when I don't have to make that adjustment. So as you can see, the regular sleeve is not a super tight sleeve, and this is the short one, and it comes in an elbow, a three quarter, and a long. Um, okay, so things I did do, this is a two-way stretch, and it's got a really nice fit all the way through. It's the same length as the other one. This is this facing, and when I take this dress off, I will show it to you better. But as you can see, this dress is cut pretty low. I actually had to put a snap, because without the snap to hold it, it was like way down here. So, in order to avoid showing my bra, I just did a clear snap on both versions. So this was my original test fit, and this made me feel confident that I could try a second one. Let me give you some sizing information about this dress. So, sizing. So this goes from an over bust size of 29 to 30 inches up to an over bust measurement of 54 to 56 inches. And then full bust measurements. So I'll just show you the chart a little bit better. So as you can see, it has your over bust, which is how you pick your bodice size. And then there's a full bust measurement right there, and then a full bust adjustment measurement. So if you have a more than three inch difference between your upper bust measurement and your full bust measurement, you can use that bodice, which is nice. Um, and that bust, full bust goes all the way up from 32, 30, so basically there's bust measurements covered from 31 inches to 60 inches. And then waist measurements from 25 inches all the way to 54 inches. Hips from 33 all the way to 61. So I would consider that a pretty inclusive size range. Um, so what size did I pick to make? So my over bust measurement is 33 inches. And my full bust measurement is 34 so 34 to 35, I think it's more like 35. So what I ended up doing, just because I had made these patterns before, I'm kind of in between their extra small, which is 31 to 32, and their small, which is 33 to 35. So I made the extra small for the bodice because it's a knit fabric and I'd rather it be more fitted than looser. And then my waist size is around a 27, and that puts me in the extra, extra small, which is between 25 and 28. So I just graded my pattern so that it went from the extra, the extra, extra small at the top. I'm sorry, the extra small through the bodice. And then when I got to the waist, I just graded down to the extra, extra small, and then used, um, the extra extra small for the skirt measurement as well because my hips are 34 inches and um, the hip measurement for the extra small is 35 to 37. So that was fine, it totally worked for me. So um, I'm going to change into the other version again and I can show you this one in more detail. Okay, I am back. So. When I made this version, this is a double brushed poly in a four way stretch. I got the fabric from Fashion Fabrics Club. I do not know if they still have it. I got it a long time ago. But it is Cats, red and blue Paisley Cats, which I love. It's also a directional print. I have made the black and white colorway of these cats, and I made it when I first started sewing and didn't think about directional prints. And so the skirt on that one is upside down cats. <laughs> so this one's better. And I'm really glad that I tried it again with this fabric. So looking at the inside of this dress, I mostly constructed this with the serger. But I wanted to show you guys this facing for the neck. Because I think it is very interesting and it's what sets this pattern apart. So this is the facing. See that angle? 
This is a facing that is three separate pieces. So you have this back, goodness, you have this back piece that goes on the back of the dress. And then you've got these longer pieces that go along the sides of the dress. So the piece itself is actually, let me see if I can illustrate it for you, because it's kind of a unique shape. And it does make the dress sit really nicely up at the neck and sit very closely to the body. Um, I do, like I said, have some gaping if I don't use the snap. So that's a little bit of a bummer, but it's okay. Here, I can show you the pattern pieces. So this, do you see that weird piece right there? That is the back neck. And then you cut this little piece, two of those on folds, front neck bands, and then you sew the back piece to one on either end of the front neck band. So you see that V shape? So that V shape is what gives you this really nice neck finish that sits up really nicely and works almost like a collar. It almost feels like a shawl collar without actually having a shawl collar. So, what is my necklace doing? Anyway. So that is my review of the Charlotte. I think that this is definitely a pattern that's worth trying. Um, I think that the addition that they make of including a full bust adjustment bodice in uh, all their patterns pretty much is just a huge advantage. I obviously am not taking care of that, taking advantage of that because <laughs> I have a small bust, but I know a lot of people really struggle to get the fit right in that area, especially in wrap dresses. Um, most of the wrap dresses I have made in the past are a little bit more modest than this one. This one is more low cut than I'm used to, but I think I like it. Um, and I definitely think I would make this again. So let me know your thoughts on this dress down below. If you guys would want to see something like a sew along, let me know. I would love to make this again and maybe film parts of it for you guys. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.